Invented thousands of years ago, the handsaw continues to make the cut. You'll find it at every building site, always at the ready. Power tools are higher tech, but the handsaw has a basic appeal. It doesn't need an extension cord and almost never breaks down. It's a trusty tool with the teeth for the job. Handsaws come in many sizes. To make them, a machine uncoils steel and draws it into a mechanized punch. The punch works at a blurring speed to cut teeth in the steel, 140 notches per minute. Here it is in slow motion. It makes two cuts for each sawtooth. A reel takes up the newly serrated steel and then will feed it back to cut teeth on the other side. Next, a finger-like device unrolls the steel and pushes it to automated jaws. The jaws bend the teeth, alternating the direction of each one. Here's a slow motion look. This is called setting the teeth and it will allow the handsaw to operate smoothly. Now a die punch cuts the steel coil into pieces called double blanks. Double because two saw blades will be made from them. The die also makes holes in one end of the double blank for attaching handles. They feed the double blanks to a shear machine. A long blade descends and cuts it in half on the diagonal, making two saw blades. Finally, they press the saw blades up against a sand belt to smooth out the edges. This is called deburring. Here they're making a higher end saw blade. They flush a piece of steel with coolant as a machine plunge grinds it to make teeth. This method is more time consuming but results in a superior tool. Again, they set the teeth. But this time, mechanical jaws do the job, a blade at a time, rather than working on one long coil of steel. The saw teeth will need to be strengthened in order to perform. So rollers move the blades to an electrical coil. Within milliseconds, the temperature of the blade shoots up to almost 900 degrees Celsius. This tempers the steel. The blades drop off the conveyor into a bin. Here's a look at a blade before heat treating. And this is after. The black burn line is a sign this saw can take the pressure. A conveyor wheel dunks them in a pool of clear protectant. This will keep them looking shiny. When they're dry, the blades undergo a trademark technique. They place one on a table. It rises and a squeegee silk screens the company name onto it. At this point, the ink is still wet. They spend 30 seconds in an infrared oven, enough time to bake on the brand name. They slide cardboard sleeves over the blades. And now it's time to get a grip. A worker fits two plastic handle parts together and places them on a carousel. An ultrasonic sealer moves in. It emits a high frequency sound and the vibrations melt the two plastic pieces together, forming a handle. A worker fits the handle onto a blade and a machine rivets it in place. Some saws have wooden handles. Because riveting could split the wood, they bolt it on with screws and riv nuts. And now you have tools that are cut out for the job. <laughs>